when fertilization is successful in sexually reproducing organisms the next phase is cutting down cytoplasm into smaller parts each having nucleus this fission of cytoplasm into smaller segments is termed as cleavage if you can spend few minutes watching this you will become familiar with parameters on which cleavage is categorized into various types with examples diagrams and definitions of course there are two parameters which determine type and pattern of cleavage in a species amount and location of yolk protein and angle of mitotic spindles formed in zygote in our previous lecture we have discussed the types of eggs in embryology based on amount and distribution of yolk to watch that lecture click the i button on top right one principle is common in all cleavages yolk inhibits or resist cleavages similarly where first spindle fibers are oriented also decide the axis for first cleavage different cells have different orientations of first spindle fibers which align chromosomes now first of all let's clarify that why we use the term cleavage and not cell division for this particular scenario well the difference lies in the amount of cytoplasm in cell division every time a cell divides it duplicates its cytoplasm and become larger in size so that each new daughter cell receive all the components but in cleavage same amount of cytoplasm is cut into smaller parts like the birthday cake and is distributed into each new blastomere without duplication or enlargement that's the basic difference between cleavage and a normal cell division now let's talk about types of cleavage there are two main types of cleavage based on axis of division if cleavage occurs through the central line dividing the zygote into two equal halves it is holoblastic cleavage and if it occurs along any side producing smaller or unequal blastomeres it is meroblastic both of these kinds occur in zygotes depending upon amount and distribution of yolk that isolacethal having evenly distributed yolk mesolacethal having moderate amount telolacethal having unevenly distributed yolk and centrolacethal having yolk concentrated in the center only in isolacethal eggs four kinds of cleavage is observed named as radial cleavage spiral cleavage bilateral cleavage and rotational cleavage while mesolacethal eggs have displaced radial cleavage only similarly telolacethal eggs have two kinds bilateral as well as discoidal cleavage and centrolacethal eggs undergo only superficial cleavage now let's elaborate all the types one by one with diagrams and definitions radial cleavage the cleavage plane which divides zygote completely into separate cells along the animal vegetal axis vertically and horizontally is termed as holoblastic radial cleavage for example in echinoderms and amphioxus radial cleavage produces equal sized blastomeres located around central axis either vertically or horizontally spiral cleavage the cleavage which is at oblique angle to animal vegetal axis and make a spiral look difference from radial cleavage is that cells are more in touch with each other than radial examples are annelids mollusks and flatworms spiral cleavage produces layers of cells which look like loops of a spring lying on top of one another sizes of blastomeres on each layer are same and each layer is seen different from other layers on top and below bilateral cleavage isolacethal 
first cleavage divide the zygote into two right and left cells then each right and left side cleave separately on right and left making mirror images of embryo on right and left sides is bilateral holoblastic cleavage as the term represent blastula is bilaterally symmetrical having two equal mirror images on both sides of central axis examples include tunicates similarly bilateral cleavage in telolecithal eggs it is same as in isolecithal eggs but occurs only where yolk is low in animal pool embryo can be halved into two equal sides as mirror images and examples of bilateral cleavage telolecithally are cephalopods in telolecithal eggs the yolk is distributed unevenly so cleavage occurs only in the side where yolk is less or absent so bilateral appearance is seen on the side where it does occur and not in the whole blastula rotational cleavage zygote divides into two blastomeres first one blastomere divides asymmetrically to give rise one founder cell for differentiation and one stem cell while other blastomere divides equatorially to produce normal differentiating cells stem cell again divide meridionally to produce the same pattern and this kind of asymmetric cleavage is termed as rotational and this is the unique feature of some nematodes and all mammals this mammalian cleavage is unique and new blastomeres are produced rotating around central axis you also undergo rotational cleavage when you were in your mother's womb displaced radial cleavage it is like radial cleavage vertically producing same size blastomere but first horizontal division is a little bit displaced from center toward animal pole that's why it is termed as displaced radial cleavage and this is unique to amphibians only in diagram you can observe the horizontal cleavage slightly displaced to upper side making the two layers of unequal sized blastomeres it is unique feature of amphibians discoidal cleavage meroblastic cleavage in which cell division occurs in small blaster disc where yolk is scanty or absent fish reptile and bird eggs are telolecithal having large amount of yolk spread all round in egg so cleavage occur only in small portion and look like a disc of cells on one periphery of blastula only that's why the name discoidal cleavage is given to such kind of cleavage superficial cleavage cleavage that occurs in the periphery or corners of cytoplasm in central acetal eggs due to large central yolk is superficial cleavage this is the unique feature of most insects only in the diagram you can observe that only outer layer of cells are formed and central portion is occupied by yolk inhibit the cleavage this particular type is limited to most insects only